All right, kicking off with the brand new format. We got some Sword Soul against Fire King Snake Eyes. Protos just got off the ban list, and we're going to do a DB Grinder style type video. So let's go ahead and dive into the matchup. We got me versus one of my homeboys who uh, hasn't played in a while, but... Uh, Sword Soul came back, and uh, he was down for it. So we're going to see opening hands here. He's going to open Desires, Emergence, Imperm, Valor, and Long Yuan. Crazy hand, actually. And then I have Mourner, Mourner, Wanted Seeker, Sanctuary, and uh, Ash Blossom. Drawing two Mourners against Sword Soul is um, basically playing with three-card hand, essentially. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. Activate Wanted in the draw phase. Add the Bell Star. Activate Sanctuary to get my free D Bell Star Send. DB Star will send the Sanctuary. I get hit with a Veiler. You probably should use Imprint and play around talents, but you know, fuck it, I guess. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and think about it. So here I have a few options. What I was thinking of doing was going Fire King Island, popping this Ash Blossom, and then I could do something, but I can't really make Hita or do any like Link 2 plays because he doesn't have a fire engrave. And I figured SP pass isn't really that great, so I just decided to do nothing. And uh, Baron is banned, so we can't make Baron. Not that I'd play it anyways, but you know, throwing that out there. Brand new list. Uh, so he's going to start his turn drawing Ecclesia. So his hand is absolutely nutty. So go ahead and start with Desires. I ash that, obviously, because uh, we're not we're never letting our opponents draw on two cards. He's going to special Ecclesia. He's going to go Emergence for Moye. Moye will activate effect revealing long. He obviously doesn't have another worm because he would reveal the other worm. So I go ahead and I mourner this, but he, but it's totally fine because he has Ecclesia into Taie, and I realize that you know I can't win from there. So Sword Soul takes game one uh, without Protoss, by the way, which, uh, you know, he could have done that last format, honestly. So we're going to go ahead and go up to game two here. And we're going to see opening hands. I'm going to open Droll, Ash, Designator, Arvada, Black Witch. He has Desires, once again, Mogi, Ecclesia, and two hand traps, which is fucking broken. But luckily, I drew Cross out. Um, but I do play one Droll in this, like, testing list, so I couldn't cross this out. But uh, I didn't want to anyway. So let's go ahead and get started. I uh, normally summon Arvada here. I supposed to summon uh, Black Witch. I do this because, you know, I can play around a hand trap because I have a fire in my hand, which is Ash Blossom. And that could stop uh, him from doing anything. Uh, I go ahead and ditch the Droll. Uh, we're going to go ahead and use the Bellstar. He Veilers here. I think about it, uh, and I do end up using the Cross Out. The reason why I use Cross Out here and not Arvada is because in case he has Nibiru, or, um, well, not Nibiru, but in case he has, like, another form of, like, a uh, hand trap. Then I can use Arvada because it's a lot more generic because I can hit anything, right? But Designator has to specifically hit like a card that's in my deck. So I think it was um, kind of a better option. In hindsight, I might have used this on Arvada though because let's say I go I go Valor and I go Cross Out and he chains Imperm on this, you know, then it would kind of suck, right? But if I chain this and he chains Imperm, then I chain Cross Out on the Imperm, it would have been better. So maybe I should have done that. But also, but also it's a double-edged sword because then I lose the Ash Blossom in my hand. And I'm a little bit greedy because I, I do want to keep the Ash Blossom in my hand. So that's kind of like why I did that. But in hindsight, technically you could do that. But also at the same time, uh, in my head, it's like you would never use Valor before Imperm. So the fact that he used Valor could telegraph that he doesn't have Imperm. But like I said, he didn't do that in game one. Uh, not everyone's going to do that. But, you know, you know, there's a, a little bit of a small technical uh, nuance here that, you know, if you uh, play a lot and play and pay more attention and like, the high level games that you know these little things could telegraph like a bigger picture right so let's go ahead and uh do the our original original is gonna go ahead and send uh d bell star i'll summon my snake eye ash do the standard combo get popular uh he's gonna draw me which is totally fine because i can do the full combo here um even without draw or not full combo but i can do the half combo here so it's totally fine and then if he has nib as his last card i still have arvada so like I actually beat three hand traps with this play, so it's pretty nice. And I uh, obviously got to use the anima now because Link Rebo is banned. Rip Link Rebo, but uh, pretty much the same thing. It's just, you know, we have uh, no Link Rebo engraved to like get that recursion. Uh, it's pretty annoying that we don't have that, but um, I need some more time to test before I can tell if Link Rebo actually matters over anima. Right now, I, I do think it kind of does, especially since you can't make Heat Soul either, which is like pretty important for the Fire King Snake Eyes deck, but um, maybe not a big deal uh, overall, right? So I'm going to go ahead and summon our Flamberg Dragon here by using the Oak, and then we're going to go ahead and link into Mascarena. Uh, bring back the two monsters here. I'm going to make a Promethean Princess, and then Promethean will bring back the IP Mascarena. I'm going to link for Ample Whale because we have room in the extra deck now to play Ample Whale again. He's going to pass turn, draw Nibiru, uh, which is pretty funny. Uh, I'm, he's going to go ahead and use Desires. I'm obviously going to Ash this because in a way I'm giving him cards. Special Ecclesia, and then obviously he can't win because the Arvada checkmates him. Um, so he's going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and go to game three and let's see what happens here. 
Uh, he's gonna draw his hand. Is Ash Blossom Imperm Ecclesia Desires Long Yuan. Fucking crazy, this deck. Uh, and we haven't seen Protoss at all, right? So, by the way, the Sword Soul deck could have been played the exact same way last format, like I said. And I have Valor, Magnemut, Harpies, Poplar, and Bonfire. Pretty decent. Uh, so, let's see what happens here. He's going to go ahead and use uh, Pot of Desires uh, for the third game in a row. And this time, I don't have Ash. And he does Normal Summon Ecclesia. Use the effect, get Moye. He reveals Long, and hopefully he doesn't have a Worm in hand, so I just Valor this. Because if I let it go through, I feel like he would get too far. Um, so he's going to go ahead and use the Long Yon anyway, because he had Emergence in his hand. And he's going to make a... I'm going to Magnemut here. The reason why I Magnemut here is because in case he makes a, a Qixing Long Yon, the level 10, it can banish my Magnemut. So I do want to do it here um, to play around that. So let's go ahead and banish the Ecclesia. I call Magnemut effect. He's going to Ash this because Druid Swarm will put too much pressure on his board. So I think that's a correct Ash. Um, go ahead and he's going to make a Jijiao. Activate the effect. He draws another Desires. Gets Emergence here. And he thinks of going for a Protoss line. But the Protoss line doesn't end up working. Uh, obviously, we're testing. So he's taking a lot of stuff back. Uh, but he ultimately ends up not using Protoss. We can go ahead and fast forward this. Like, he's going to try to Protoss and do, like, this Shaman play. But he's going to realize it doesn't actually work. Because uh, he has two fires in his grave. So he actually can't go for Protoss. Unless he banishes his Chishao. Which he didn't want to do. Um, which is, I think, fair enough. So we're going to go ahead and go back. And like I said, guys, yeah, testing. So, you know, it's cool. Um... So this is his end board with two sets, and uh, I get the game plan. He's just going to try to stop me with all these and then play next turn with his follow-up, which makes um, sense, but obviously he doesn't know that I have the Harpies. I'm going to go ahead and activate Harpies. Obviously, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to go ahead and use Poplar. No effect, because I want to use the Poplar later, because if he negates this, with che if he negates Poplar, then um, when I bonfire for Poplar, it basically has no effect, so that's why I use no effect here, because I'm going to fish out the Chi Shao anyway, but I do want to go for game the same turn too. Uh, but in hindsight, I probably should have done something else. Because here, I go for a Axis Code line um, to force out the Chi Xiao, um, right? But uh, the problem with this is that uh, if he has, like, Nib or something, I instantly lose. Um, so what I should have done was go for SP. Even though I can't kill this turn, it's a lot more safe into the board, I would say. Um, but again, I don't actually think so because I would have to link away the SP anyway. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and go for my access code play to uh, bait out the uh, Chi Zhao because I do have Bonfire. Now, like other, there's a lot of more ways to bait this out. But the thing is, the Princess doesn't actually bait this out because it's 27. And, um, you know, like he could negate Princess, but I do want to use it later on in the combo to go for the Zelanthus OTK. Uh, so that's why I don't do that. So I take back some of my plays and I realize, you know, access code is actually better. So I activate access code. He negates. He has no choice. Activate Bonfire. And then this is pretty much writing on the wall. Uh, bonfire for Popular, Popular for Original, Original into um, uh, Ponix. And pretty much he knows that's going to happen. So he pretty much uh, gives up here. And it's pretty much the end of the match after I pop everything, right? Uh, so that's going to be it for this entire uh, video here. We do play another match. But I think the first one is just a little hindsight on how, you know, Sword Soul, I don't think is any better with uh, Protoss. He could have Protoss me one game, but he probably would have lost anyway because he, had, he would have no follow-up after using the protos but yeah i mean protos is cool that's off the list but it just gets stopped by like just hand traps because if you can't get into your combo you can't get to protos right so yeah if you guys made it this far don't forget to leave a like comment and a sub and i'll catch y'all in the next one